Good morning. evening and welcome to Roots 96.1 FM. We are here live at the Rastafari Roots Fest at Long Bay Beach Negril. And we are here with the wonderful man that assisted me with my previous interview with the founders of the Roots Reggae and Culture magazine. And so welcome Jimmy. Oh, thank you. Uh, they call me Jimmy the Chef. Uh, I'm a breeder in California. Uh, trained as a chef and uh, also worked with, in Spain for seven years on indigenous genetics. Also worked with CBD genetics for uh, epileptic seizures, for cancer. Um, now our two farms in uh, California are uh, breeding uh, facilities where we, we just do pheno hunting and uh, we test all of our genetics as well. Uh, to test the cannabinoid profile mm -hmm. and to test the percentages of THC and CBD. Wow. Um, so we know uh, what, and also the terpene profile. Mm -hmm. So we know specific terpene profiles, specific cannabinoids act uh, specifically for specific elements. Yeah. So tell me, why, why did you choose to get into breeding? Why breeding? Um, breeding, well, for me as a chef, it was all about ingredients. And okay. as well, uh, I started seeing that all the new breeding, breeders that were coming out were uh, crossing everything with uh, the same stuff. And so, you know, it's weakening the lines of genetics. They're losing these indigenous lines. And all the medicine lies in the indigenous genetics. And so, um, these new breeding projects are all becoming uniform, you know, and therefore uniform genetics um, are susceptible to disease. Uh, they're weak genetics. They lose a lot of medicinal properties. So. I feel that um, preserving the old genetics is very important, and uh, that's our mission and original leaders. Well, and just quickly tell me again, how long have you been doing this breeding now? Uh, 25 years. Okay, and tell me some of the like, major benefits of getting into breeding. What, what's the benefits for you? The greatest benefit is, uh, is as a painter or as uh, somebody that wants to express themselves through mm -hmm. an art. It could be uh, cooking, it could be painting, okay. and cannabis is a plant that has very many uh, aspects, many flavors, many uh, effects. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, you know, I wanted to smoke something in the morning that I didn't feel that I wanted to go to sleep right away. That's right. And, to give uh, a bit of life, right? A little bit of life. Yeah. yeah. So I, I couldn't really find out outside what, you know, was satisfying me. So I started getting into genetics, looking for plants. Interesting. And studying which plants gave me a, a upper high, which ones helped me sleep. Uh, which ones help me with pain. How do you do that? Um, well, studying uh, different sativa, different indica, uh, for instance, and then testing the cannabis mm -hmm. to get the cannabinoid profile, the terpene wow. profile, mm -hmm. uh, and the percentage of CBD and THC. Uh, you can start understanding, uh, pinpointing, uh, now because it's mapped, you have a specific map, and so you can start pinpointing what the effects are. So for the layman man, are you saying that you can manipulate the properties of marijuana? It's not manipulate the properties as it is look specifically for specific characteristics. Okay. So it's all in nature, mm -hmm. and by planting genetics, by uh, looking at different phenotypes, you're able to um, test many different um, phenotypes, which is varieties of the same um, genetic. Right. And within that, there's a different cannabinoid profile, there's a different terpene profile, mm -hmm. a smell uh, mm -hmm. that, that uh, marks this like a fingerprint. Okay. And so this fingerprint, you can start um, analyzing what these effects for this specific fingerprint are doing. Okay. And then through testing cannabis, you can start looking for those specific markers. Mm -hmm. and to see what works with you. Well, what works with you or what works in general, because we have found that, for instance, pure CBD mm -hmm. without any THC is good for epilepsy. It helps uh, with seizures. Yeah, um, stabilize it. Stabilize seizures and lo lower the amount of uh, seizures because THC is a stimulant. Um, mm -hmm. And the stimulant for the nervous system um, tends to set off these seizures, mm -hmm. whereas CBD is the opposite. Wow. And it, um, it uh, calms the nervous system and by calming the nervous system mm -hmm. the patient doesn't tense up so much to cause the seizures to, to yes. happen. So, so they're more panicking hence why it's continuing right? Exactly. Yeah. Instead of the relaxation of the nerves so the patient can avoid and find ways to not uh, break out of seizures. So. 
Well, I tell you, Jimmy the chef, you've given us a full, I feel like I've intended an <coughs> intensive course. <laughs> and I know it's really educating and it's liberating to know the, the scientific side of it as well and the medical side of it and um, the, can I say the, the chemistry? Yes. It is chemistry, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and to know that there's different aspects of marijuana and how it actually comes to you in that form. Um, tell me something, how is this funded? Uh, how we are still funded, our company. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two farms in California. And wow. We have been growing there for 10 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, this specific farm we uh, started eight years ago. Um, so uh, every year of putting back in, and investing and investing, mm -hmm. and just making it better. And, uh, now we have an amazing greenhouse that's fully automated. Uh, with lights, with uh, a computer that if it gets too cold, the door closes. If it gets too hot, a door opens and a fan comes on. So we're able to control the environment a little to test specific uh, genetics to understand what they will do in different conditions as well. Okay, so what do you have to say to the person that will say, well, that's artificial? What happened to naturally growing herb and just dealing with water and working with nature and the cycle of the moon? What about that? Well, that's what we do on the farm, but the greenhouse is almost our propagation. Like an experiment center? Not so much experiment as propagating the seeds. That's okay. where we propagate all the seeds so that they're nourished. And then we grow the plants and then plant them in our trenches outside. So we use the natural earth and we grow in trenches uh, and it's at uh, a thousand meters. Mm -hmm. So above the pollution mm -hmm. and above the fog yes. and below the snow. So it's dry as well, no mm -hmm. humidity. Yes. So it's really a perfect condition to grow. Uh, and so, and also I would say to the person uh, looking to find uh, medicine, it's, it's very important that they educate themselves yes. to know if this medicine is going to be positive to them mm -hmm. or uh, if it's going to be negative for them because I've noticed for instance uh, a good example would be in the older um, um, age group yes. they want to try cannabis but they don't want to smoke so they eat an edible for instance yes. and then these edibles are not um, measured correctly okay. or they're not designed with the right strain for the right person so right. this old person can get extremely high had a bad, bad experience yeah. and be turned off from cannabis so yes. the importance of genetics to me rather commonly doesn't it it does because yeah. i feel standardization <laughs> testing mm -hmm. um, more genetic where we can specifically target things for specific people right. and it could change the experience for people that might have had a bad experience in the past okay. so i mean thank you jimmy the chef are you just in california now yes that's where we're in California we also have a project in Spain. Wow. Okay, you look a bit Spanish. Have you got Spanish heritage? Or? Um, I, my mother is Sicilian and my yes. father is Persian. I can see it with your wonderful eyebrows and your wonderful hair oh, and your beautiful yeah. big eyes. Oh, I can you. see the Sicilian in you. Um, I just wanted to say also and um, where can people find you? Tell people how they can get hold of you. If you want to know more information yes. about breeding. Um, we have a webpage originalbreedersleague.com mm -hmm. and we have an Instagram original breeders league as well excellent so that's where you can see our farm and the pictures of our work and uh, all of uh, all of the stuff that we're doing okay and just one last thing why what's the fire roots face because uh, I've been coming here for a few years now yeah. and it's I believe in uh, not only the indigenous marker of what cannabis is and it's almost has a native uh, root in Jamaica mm -hmm. and uh, I know it grows wild all over the world but there's something different about the acceptance of the plant here yes. and I feel that yes. because of that open nature mm -hmm. because of the um, amazing island of how incredible everything grows here all the incredible fruits all the incredible uh, plants that cure cancer and uh, medicine here yes. naturally uh, you know organic <laughs> and of course they're incredible people which I was going to uh, finish with uh, the attitude here the, the, you know I feel like, uh, so welcome it's such an uh, honor to be around such great people you are a brother, you are a brother brother and you know I, I hear you always say native yeah. and is that because you you are you feel the native in you right? Uh, yes. As a Sicilian yeah. because Sicilians are native to the land. Yes, I also feel that with looking for native genetics I have to find my native nature. That's right. And express myself not, not trying to be something I'm not. That's right. Not trying to make something that other people are doing in the chemical indoor mm -hmm. something that I don't believe in or I'm not into so I follow my own path. Yeah. We do it all organically and naturally. <laughs> we do it all. Look for our genetics, not what the market is doing. Mm -hmm. so.
yeah, our, our flavor, our expression of what preservation is. Wonderful. Well, I'll tell you something. Thank you very much for your education and your contribution. And thank you for, you know, taking the time and the initiative to such a breeding because farming is where it starts. And um, this is what is kind of been highlighted now. And it's nice to know that people are seeing the benefits of farming. And whether it's farming food or it's farming herbs, there is there's a significance of dealing with seeds and sowing seeds because through seeds one reaps. Is that not correct? Yes, correct. And especially now, how uh, scary the world is getting with these GMOs and seed manipulation. That it's really important to start preserving the indigenous strains because this is what nature did. That's right. And if we access that, then we're good. If we start losing that, then we're losing our roots. And yes, and losing touch with nature itself. Exactly. Yes. So we have to wield nature, not, not change it. That's right. So, yeah, use it for favor, like a wind. Mm -hmm. yeah, like what's it? <laughs> okay, so thank you very much. That was Jimmy the Chef. And just tell people again where they can find you in the name of the business. Yes, uh, we are Original Breeders League. <clears throat> we have a website, OriginalBreedersLeague.com. And we have Instagram, Original Breeders League. Excellent. Well, thank you for your contribution. We are here live at the Rastafari Roots Fest at Long Bay Beach Negril, and it's absolutely excellent with all these different kind of contributions that make up Rastafari. Rastafari <laughs> live. Set by fire. <laughs> Thank you.